Inside these walls, doctors and nurses are going on month nine of a constant battle against an invisible enemy. It's emotionally taxing, and, and I think one of the really tough parts is we don't know when the end is in sight. Tuesday, Tarrant County revealed that 92% of its ICU beds were full as COVID cases climbed to record levels. More than 2,100 new cases were announced Wednesday. JPS shared these images from inside the hospital, where Chair of Internal Medicine Dr. Stephen Davis says they currently do have enough beds available. But we're sort of anxiously waiting what may come in the next couple of weeks. That's because there's usually a lag between when people get infected and when they end up in the hospital or in the ICU. We do think that the number of children that will require hospitalization over the next few weeks or months will very likely go up. At Cook Children's Medical Center in Fort Worth, there are currently 20 children hospitalized with COVID, the most the hospital has ever seen at one time. A few of those children are in the ICU. Dr. Suzanne Whitworth is the hospital's director of infectious diseases. We have seen perfectly healthy children come into the hospital who have COVID, who wind up on a ventilator and on life support. That does happen. It's not a high number, but you can't say that children are not at risk. Are you worried about what the next few weeks and months are going to look like, not just for your patients, but for your staff as well? Yes, very much so. A battle with no certain end in sight. In Fort Worth, I'm Lawrence Akalik.